Welcome, fellow adventurers. Our story begins on one of the most anticipated nights of the year. The night before Christmas. A time of year when all the houses are dressed up in bright lights and family stockings are hung on the mantelpiece with care. The children are all snug comfortably in their beds, with only one thought dancing in their heads. Will Santa be soon there? And as the night is still young and serene, somewhere far, far away, everything is about to take a different turn. For our beloved Christmas is in danger of never being celebrated again. Well, well, well. After all this time, you are finally in my dungeon. It was about time, don't you agree? <coughs> ah, you know what they say. What goes around comes around, my old friend. <coughs> don't sweat it. I promise I'll do my best. This year, Christmas will change entirely and forever. The best part, though, is that no one can do anything about it. <laughs> December 24th. A young boy's night is about to be shaken by a strange call, as in a few minutes he will be summoned to save the most beloved holiday of them all. Cisco, what are you doing down here at this hour? You should be in bed by now. I know, but I wanted to make sure everything is ready for Santa. Don't worry, my child, everything is in place. The stockings are hung on the mantel, hmm? cookies and milk are on the table, and as we agreed, I'll leave the Christmas tree lit. Fantastic, Mom! Oh wait! The fireplace is still burning! I'll put out the fire as soon as I go upstairs, don't worry. We won't burn Santa this year. Time for bed, then. I don't feel like sleeping, Mom! Don't you want to wake up early in the morning and get your Christmas present? Like crazy! I've been waiting all year for this night. You're right, I'm going to bed. Night night, Cisco. Good night, Mom. Oh boy! Oh boy, oh boy! Oh boy! I can't wait to wake up tomorrow and get my present! Cisco! Huh? Who said that? It's your help! It's an emergency! Is the radio really talking to me? Who is this? Please! It's a matter of life and. Is this a prank? Please stop it! It's getting spooky! You're the only one! And have no time! Go! I'm losing calm! Repeat, go to attic! What? Go to the attic? You must hurry! All of our hopes. What's in the attic? To save school. In danger! Christmas ever again! Did it just say, save Christmas? I guess I'll have to go to the attic and find out what's going on. Whoever it was, it sounded like they really needed my help.
I could, but I removed the lenses for cleaning. Okay, here goes nothing. Recreational program for handicapped adults in the Greenview Haven area. The radio is working normally. I love chatting with my friends from Space Camp. And guess what my homepage is? That's right, NASA! Wow! It blinks! Better not. I don't want to let a chill into the room. That's my hideout. Literally. I look awesome! Even if I wanted to, I have the feeling I'm being watched. I've always wondered, if olive oil is made from olives, then baby oil... <gasps> you know? Scary, right? Still, it's an unusual place for it to be. But Dad seems happy with it. Hmm, there is no hot water. Hey, Zoe! Hey, Cisco! Zoe, do you believe in Santa? He is just a story for the kids. Really? And who puts the presents under the tree? Mom and Dad. Who else? But I never caught them doing that. Maybe because you were sleeping? Nope! One night, I hid beneath the dining table, but neither of them came down. Mom found me in the morning sleeping on the couch. And guess what? The tree was full of presents! Oh, Cisco, you need to grow up. Maybe that's the problem, that you have grown up. Santa is real! Santa is the magic of Christmas! Santa is just a marketing figure for the holidays, so people will buy presents. There's nothing magical about Christmas. Oh, really? In just one night, a single night, Santa has to travel 316 million miles. And based on the number of people and houses in the world, including the Earth's measurements, having an average speed of 6.7 million miles per hour, he makes 822.6 visits per second. If that's not magic, then how does he do it? You creep me out sometimes. You know that, Cisco? How can you say that? Easily. You're not funny, you know. I don't have time to argue. Hey, sis, why do you have so many posters? Because I like music and they look cool. Any personal favorite? The Guilties. Best band ever. Their latest album poster is the one next to the door. Thanks! Good to know! I prefer blinking lights. They are cooler. Whatever, Cisco. Any personal favorite? The Guilties. Ba Thanks! I have some more questions. Who are you chatting with? None of your business.
What's the story with the pink flamingos? It's my spirit animal. Catch you later. Hogfather, a Discworld novel by Terry Pratchett. She doesn't like anybody messing with her stuff. I still regret the last time I touched it. A poster of Zoe's favorite band. I remember one night she had to sneak out to go to their concert. She never misses anything that has to do with this band. Hands off, Cisco! Hands off, Cisco! Hands off, Cisco! That's an odd place to store it. Dad is famous for his sloppiness. I wonder if he thinks it has anything to do with toiletries. This is where my parents store their clothes. Dad has his own closet organization system. He's so good at it. Why is the baby oil on the toilet? It's a secret. I'll take it to my grave. For now, take no for an answer. Now you know where I got my witty spirit from. Atari would like to thank you. With mild cheddar cheese, smoky bar cheese. Dad, what are you doing? Just zapping. Why? Are you having a hard time deciding which program to watch? No, it just relaxes me. Isn't that really annoying? Maybe for your mom. Thank God she's still rehydrating her face. Can I try also? No, Cisco. As far as I know, you should be in bed by now. Cool. Do you believe in Santa, Dad? Sure. Doesn't sound like it. No worries, my boy. I have a feeling he's going to visit us tonight. Really early. Seriously? Yes, but he is a little shy. Unless we all fall asleep, he won't come down the chimney. Oh boy, oh boy! The weirdest thing happened, Dad! Such as? The radio talked to me! That's how radios work. <sighs> Zoe is not helping me! Seriously? Didn't see that coming. Nothing, actually. I'm going back to bed now. I'm going back to bed now. No, that's not a window I would like to open. Mom? Yes, Cisco. What are you doing, Mom? Didn't you go to bed a few minutes ago? Sure, uh, but I had to uh, help uh, Zoe. Really? Yes, something with her laptop. Glad to know that you get along with each other. Do you believe in Santa, Mom? Do you, Cisco? Yes, but sometimes I get confused. Well, I'll tell you this, my dear. You don't necessarily have to believe. To believe is to have faith. And Christmas is not about faith. It's about magic. 
Do you believe in Santa, Mom? Do you, Cisco? Yes, but sometimes I get confused. Well, I'll tell you this, my dear. You don't necessarily have to believe. To believe is to have faith. And Christmas is not about faith. It's about magic. Something really strange happened, Mom! Are you trying to stay awake past midnight again? No, I'm serious this time! Fine. What happened? I went to bed as you told me, and just as I was about to lie down, a strange voice spoke to me through the radio! <sighs> At first I couldn't make out what it was saying because of the white noise. It was like a static mumble. Then I focused on it and caught some words. It knew my name! So spooky, Mom! <sighs> Also, something about the attic, that it was urgent and there was no time to waste. It wanted my help. So guess what its last words were? I cannot imagine. Save Christmas! I have to save Christmas, Mom! Oh, Cisco, you have such a vivid imagination. I'm going back to bed now. Now it's on! I don't want to go downstairs and wander around the house right now. I need to go to the attic and find out what's going on. Oh no! Something is blocking the trap door. I have to find another way in. I remember it was stuck once before. But Dad managed to enter somehow. Maybe I should go and ask him discreetly. Dad, do you remember the time the attic trap door was stuck? Actually, I'm trying to forget it. Why is that? Well, it was not one of my finest moments. How did you do it? Sorry, son. You're too young to share this information with you. Oh, come on. Please? Sorry, Cisco. Still a no. Mom said she admired you that day. You were so brave, like a hero. Really? Sure, and I admire you too. Thank you, Cisco. But I don't know how you did it. All right, but don't tell your mom that I told you. I swear. I had to climb up to the roof. You see, the attic window is right above your room and your sister's. So I went up there and entered through the window. It wasn't as easy as it sounds. I had back pain for almost a week. Good to know. What? Don't even think about trying that. Your mom will kill us both. I mean, good to know the reason for admiring you. Oh, thank you, son. Dad, I need your help. Certainly, my boy. The trap door seems to have stuck, and I can't get it open. It's too late for this right now, Cisco. But it's very important, Dad. I promise I will help you, first thing in the morning. It might be too late by then. Do not worry, it won't. Besides, we will have to clean the mess. There is a lot of junk up there. <sighs> you know what? I changed my mind. I'm going back to bed now. Mom? Yes, Cisco? Can you please help me to open the trap door? What trap door? The one that leads to the attic. We have a trap door. Since forever! Oh, sorry, Cisco, but usually your dad is the one that goes to the attic. I'm going back to bed now. Hey, Zoe! Hey, Cisco! 
Zoe, I need your help. I hope it's important this time. It is. I want you to help me open the trap door. Are you serious? Yes. Somehow it's stuck and I can't open it. Will you help me? You are joking, right? No, please. You are wasting my time, Cisco. Oh, come on, please. Stop it. I said no. Pretty please? Last chance, Cisco. I'd rather not take my chances. I don't want to cause Zoe's wrath. I'd rather not take my... Fine, forget it. Catch you later. Dad said he had to climb to the roof once to access the attic. And this is the only window of the house that leads to the roof. I'd better get out there and figure out how he did it. Mom's office. She spends quite a lot of time in there designing gardens. Dad and I built it in just two weeks. Now it's my lair where I hang out with my friends from space camp. My faithful dog, Socks. He sleeps like a puppy. I love playing basketball with my dad on Sundays. The roof is already slippery because of the snow. Now I get why Dad didn't want to tell me about the time he went up on the roof. I'd better be careful, especially if I have to climb down the same way I came up. It's so beautiful, our only permanent natural satellite. Did you know that a person could weigh much less on the moon? So cool! I was never good at pole dancing or acrobatics. I was never good at pole dancing or acrobatics. Not possible doing anything unless I get closer. Not possible to do anything unless I get closer. I don't want to get smudged with soot. I don't want to get smudged with soot. I was never good at pole dancing or acrobatics. By watching them closely, I believe they follow a specific pattern. Better not. I don't want to let a chill into the room. That's an odd place to store. I wonder if he thinks it has any... I don't want- I need to go to the- I look awesome!
I've already taken my bath for today. Even if I wanted to, I have the feeling I'm being watched. Oh boy, that wasn't an easy climb. Not possible doing anything unless I get closer. Not possible to do any- I was never good at pole dancing or acrobatics. It's out of my reach. I was never good at pole dancing or acrobatics. I don't want to get smudged with... I don't... I was never good at pole dancing or acrobatic. I'm not close enough. Where my pa dad had a distinctive house plant. Mom says it helps to purify the air. Father, a Discworld novel by Terry Pratchett. Hands off, Cisco. Hey, Zoe. Hey, Cisco. Zoe, I hope it is. I want you. To are you serious? Yes. You are just. No. You are with. Oh, come. Stop. Rip. Last. I'd. Fine, for... Catch you later! I love chatting and guess That's my hideout. Okay. 
recreational program for handicapped adults in the Great New Haven area. The new waves next for the 13 days of Christmas. The radio is working normally. Phew! I wouldn't like to hear that voice again. One thing I love about Christmas. I could, but I removed the lenses for cleaning. Oh boy, that wasn't an easy climb. It's so beautiful, our only permanent natural satellite. Did you know? So cool! I don't want to get smudged with soot. I was never good at pole dancing or acrobatics. I was... I, I can't do anything from here. I'm too far away. I was never good at pole dancing or acrobatics. Cat will play. <laughs> Batman returns. Rated PG-13. Special greeting. No, that's not Mom? Yes. The moment and go back to him live on the telephone for he Can you play what the what we sent? Oh. I'm going back to bed now. Dad, actually, well, how did Sorry. Oh, come on. Sorry, Cisco. Mom said she Really? Sure. Thank you. But I don't know how All right. I swear. I had to climb up to the roof. You see, the attic window is right above your room, so I went up there and entered through the window. It wasn't as easy as it's- I had back pain for almost- Good to know- What? I mean, good to know- Oh. Dad, I- Certainly, my boy. Can you tell Zoe to help- You are old enough to get what you want by yourself. Thanks, Dad. You know what? I'm, I'm going back to bed now. Hey, Zoe. Hey, Cisco. Hey, Sid. Because I. Any per the guilty. Thanks. I have. Zoe, I hope it is. Are you? S yes. You are Joe. No. You are wait. Oh come on! Stop it. For Last chance. I'd run. I'd run. I'd run. Fine. For. Catch you later. She doesn't like. It. I still regret the last time I touched it. I don't want to go down. I need to go.
There's nothing hidden behind it, trust me. That's an odd place to store it. Dad is famous for his- I wonder if he thinks it has anything to do with toiletries. Hi, lo- Hi, lo- Even if I wanted to- Even if I wanted to? I've already taken my bath for today. I've always wondered if all- You know? Still, it's an- Now it's off! Now it's on! Now it's off! Now it's on! There's nothing hidden behind it, trust me. If there was, I'd know. Now it's off! There's nothing hidden behind it, trust me. If there was, I'd know. Now it's on! That's an odd place to store. I wonder if a distinctive house. Now it's off! Oh boy, that wasn't an easy climb. I don't want to get smudged with soot. I was never good at pole dancing or acrobatics. It's out of my reach. Now it's on! Oh boy, that wasn't an easy climb. I don't want to get smudged with soot. I was never good at pole dancing or acrobatics. I can't do anything from here. I'm too far away. The attic window. It's out of my reach. Standing so close to the edge and looking down, all I see is not the pole, but the void. Yikes! I was never good at pole dancing or acrobatics. I wonder if Santa could fit through that chimney. I don't want to get smudged with soot.
Why not? It might come in handy. It controls the attic lights. Now it's off. Now it's on. I guess if I need it, I know where to find it. Even if I wanted to, I have the feeling I'm being watched. I've already taken my bath for today. And who is going to fix it later? It's fine where it is. Isn't that cool? It's Cosmos, not an ordinary stuffed teddy bear. We spent many nights staying up late together. Come here, Cosmos. Hey, Cosmos! He never responds. I wish he could talk back. wouldn't like that. No need. I have already read it. You want me to walk around carrying a huge pink flamingo? No way! Don't touch my stuff, Cisco. Oops! Oh boy! That wasn't an easy climb. I was never good at pole dancing or acrobatics. I guess this is my only choice. Here goes nothing. Don't try this at home, kids. Mom will kill me if she finds out. I can't get it open. The hinges are stuck. The attic window. I can't get it open. The hinges are stuck. Maybe this will do the trick.
I remember when Mom used this old desk to design her garden plans in the basement. She also had to do experiments that often turned the basement into a mess. Dad freaked out several times. Luckily, we built the greenhouse, and now Mom has her own personal space. My design skills are just terrible. Dad's old teddy bear from his boyhood. I have nothing to say to him. Besides, it would be strange if he answered me. No! That's not my teddy bear. I need to find my own. Besides, the fur and fabric on that one are so worn, it will probably fall apart as soon as I touch it. There is a strange glow coming out of the pile. I guess I should search through the pile carefully. Well, let me see. My old school books. Mom's old mortar. A crowbar. Dad's rain boots. Boy, there is some serious junk in here. Phew! Done! Of all this junk, I'll keep the crowbar. I have a feeling I should carry it around, like a true adventurer. It seems that the pile's glow was coming from this small box. Let's see what's inside. What was that? A strange glow just came out of the box and flew away. Should I follow it? But first, let's take a look at the box. I wonder what's so special about it. What could be so important to be stored inside it? Hmm, all there is inside is a strange device and, and a letter? Oh boy, this is getting so weird, and I'm even more curious. I can't resist reading this letter. It looks really old. Let's see what it says. Dear recipient, if you are reading this letter, it can only mean one thing. Trouble is coming. Strange as it may sound, arm yourself with wit and courage, the essential equipment of every adventure. You are about to set out on a journey from which I hope you will emerge victorious. Christmas has always been a time of transition, and I cannot even imagine what it's like to be at stake. Fear not, my dubious friend. A strange glow will help. Follow it. It will indicate a way to open the strange cylinder that comes with this letter. Once you do, burn the contents and find a lifeless toy so that the glow may possess it and visit your world. Do not hesitate. You are going to need it. All my hopes rest in you. The world relies on you. Please, you need to save Christmas! Now, where did that strange glow go? I guess I'll have to search all over the house. Darn it! It is said that nutcrackers bring good luck to your family and protect your home. They represent power and strength, serving somewhat like watchdogs against danger. They scare away malevolent spirits. Maybe this nutcracker can do it with his drum roll. Not a chatty guy. 
It is said that nutcrackers bring good luck to your family and protect your home. They represent power and strength, serving somewhat like watchdogs against danger. They scare away malevolent spirits. Maybe this nutcracker can do it with his drum roll. One washes the laundry, and the other is used as a clothes dryer, a typical laundry system. One washes the laundry, and the other is used as a clothes dryer, a typical laundry system. No, I think there are more than enough up in the living room. It provides heated air for the house in the winter. It provides heated air for the house in the winter. No, I think there are more than enough up in the living room. It's useful if you want to store heavy items in the basement. Dad was trying to apply a storage organization system earlier. For some reason, he left it unfinished. It's useful if you want to store heavy items in the basement. Hmm, it's not working. I remember Dad saying something about a malfunction in the wires. It leads to the hatch outside. Everything looks so beautiful with Christmas decorations. Hmm, nothing under here. There's no time for games. I have to figure out what's going on. It is a family tradition to decorate the Christmas tree all together at the beginning of December. They are empty at the moment. Hopefully in the morning, they will be filled with candy and presents. I need the remote control for sure. That's how it's operated. There's no one I would like to call right now. A collection of some old and rare whiskeys. Wait! This one says it's 52 years old! Wow, really? That's four times my age! Sorry, Dad. I know I'm not allowed to, but I need it to save Christmas. I'll just take this one. All books are about neurology, Dad's specialty. Pediatric Neurology, Nursing and Palliative Medicine, Clinical Neurophysiology. Oh, come on! I twisted my tongue. Let's just say books on the brain, nerves, and muscles. Better not. Dad wouldn't like that. Besides, I have my own upstairs. A strange glow, same as the one in the attic. 
comes from behind the glass window. I can't! It's locked! Just some notes and other papers. Nothing of interest. Some pen lights, reflex hammers, tuning forks. Nothing of interest. Let's see. Some patient files, more patient files, even more patient files. Ugh, nothing of interest. Power of neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to reorganize itself and heal in cases of injury or deprivation. Wow, the human brain is really powerful after all. I don't see how picking this up might be useful. Also, I believe Dad keeps it on the pedestal as a demonstration. Statue of Hippocrates, the ancient Greek physician, often referred to as the father of medicine. A whole collection of Jamie Oliver recipes. Some plastic food storage containers with snap closed lids. Nothing useful. Forks, spoons, and knives. Hmm, maybe I should get a knife. Heading out on an adventure, it will definitely come in handy. Some barbecue essentials. Nothing interesting. Oh, I would love a slice of warm bread with marmalade right now, but I need to focus on my adventure. Okay, let's pick a rhythm. Should I go with taba 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 tum? Or with toot to ba, toot to ba, toot to ba ba. Okay, let's see. Toot to ba, toot to ba, toot to ba ba. Toot to ba, toot to ba, toot to ba ba. Toot to ba, toot to ba, toot to ba ba. Hey, that's a much more expressive way than actually playing the drums. Okay, let's pick a rhythm. Should I go with taba 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 tum or with toot to ba toot to ba toot to ba ba? Okay, let's see. Taba 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 tum. Taba 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 tum. Taba 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 tum. Hey, that's a much more expressive way than actually playing the drums. The bookcase key is definitely one of them, but I'll never find it in this mess. I'd better check with Dad and see if he can help. Some screwdrivers and wrenches. 
I could ride my bike around like I'm starring in Wheels of Blaze. But no, this is a classic point-and-click adventure game. Some cleansers and other stuff for washing. Boxes with our camping stuff. Maybe in four to six years from now. It's an electric scooter. Very friendly for the environment. Mom uses it to go shopping. The door is locked for the night. I've never seen him bark like that. Maybe it has something to do with that glow on the ground. He doesn't seem to like it. That glow seems like the one in the attic. Is it a clue? Sock seems to be bothered by it. I prefer eating at the kitchen table. Dad and I built it in just two weeks. Now it's my lair where I hang out with my friends from space camp. It's not opening. It must be locked. To open the cryptex, I need the right combination of symbols. In particular, a combination of four symbols. I haven't found any so far. I need to keep looking. <laughs> Dad, may I ask for a favor? You need more pocket money for presents? Now that you mention it, that's not a bad offer. I just wanted the office's bookcase key. Oh, how so? I couldn't sleep, so I thought reading one of your books would educate me as well as make me sleepy. Right. I keep it with all the other keys in the garage. Great! Thanks, Dad! Cisco, wait! I just remembered. The other day, I was changing my key's organization system. Which means? That I was so excited, I forgot to hang them back on the hooks. The keys are scattered. Fantastic. Thank you, Cisco. I was just being sarcastic, Dad. Now how am I supposed to find the bookcase key? Don't be discouraged. I'll give you a hint to get it. Place the keys in such a way that no key of the same color exists in the same row or column. Then, the one on the bottom left hook is the key that you want. Terrific, Dad. Just terrific. Oh, I almost forgot one more thing. Keep in mind that every room shares the same key type. I'm going back to bed now. The door is locked for... Some screwdrivers and wrenches. All right, let's see if Dad's instructions will help me find the bookcase key.
All right, I'll spread them out and try to solve Dad's brain teaser.
I've placed all the keys, but according to Dad's instructions, their position doesn't seem to be correct. I should keep trying. Dad said that if I want to find the bookcase key, I should arrange the keys in such a way that no keys of the same color exist in the same row or column. Also, something about that every room shares the same key type. What a brain teaser! Once I solve it, the key on the bottom left hook is the one that I want. I've placed all the keys. I should keep trying. I've placed all the keys, but according I should keep trying. All right, let's see if Dad's instructions will help. I've placed all the keys, but according to Dad's instructions, their position doesn't seem to be correct. I should keep trying. I've placed all the keys, but according to Dad's instructions, their position doesn't seem to be correct. I should keep trying. I've placed all the keys, but according to Dad's instructions, their position doesn't seem to be correct. I should keep trying. I've placed all the keys, but according to Dad's instructions, their position I should keep trying. I've placed all the keys, but according to Dad's instructions, their position doesn't seem to be correct. I should keep trying.
I've placed all the keys, but according to Dad's instructions, their position doesn't seem to be correct. I should keep trying. I've placed all the keys, but according to Dad's instructions, their position doesn't seem to be correct. I should keep trying. I've placed all the keys, but according to Dad's instructions, their position doesn't seem to be correct. I should keep trying. I've placed all the keys, but according to Dad's instructions, their position doesn't seem to be correct. I should keep trying. I've placed all the keys, but according to Dad's instructions, their position doesn't seem to be correct. I should keep trying. I've placed all the keys, but according to Dad's instructions, their position doesn't seem to be correct. I should keep trying. I've placed all the keys, but according to Dad's instructions, their position doesn't seem to be correct. I should keep trying.
Well, let me see. It appears that all the keys are in the correct place. All I have to do now is just pick the right key. No, this is not the correct key. I only need the bookcase key. This must be the bookcase key. Strange glow, same as I can't, it's locked. It reads a touch of frost. There's a strange symbol on the cover. It reminds me of a snowflake. I believe it must be some kind of clue. <laughs> that glow seems like the one in the attic. Is it a clue? Sock seems to be bothered by it. Nope, that's random. No, I don't want to roughen the blade. Hmm, that doesn't seem right. I can't go around smashing everything with a crowbar. I can't go around smashing everything with a crowbar. To open the cryptex, I in I need. It reads a touch of frost. That glow seems sock seems. How am I supposed to do that? I can't go around smashing everything with a crowbar. Vandalism is not the answer. Let me see. What if I. Nah, it won't work. It doesn't need to be cut. That doesn't seem to work. I prefer eating at the kitchen table. Locked. It's too heavy to carry it around. I'd better leave it right here. They're empty at the moment. Hopefully in the morning, they will be filled with candy and presents.
The remote control for the TV! I'd better take it! The score for the third quarter is 89-82 for the Lizards. Boring! Coming up next, Home Alone 2. Follow the Christmas adventure of Kevin McAllister, this time in New York. Boy, I love this movie. Too bad I don't have time right now. After the break, the Guilties coming live from Daydream Stadium. The Guilties? Isn't that Zoe's favorite band? Hey, Cisco. The Guilties are on TV! What? That's right. There's a special two-hour screening of their latest concert. Cisco, are you trying to fool me again? Because if you do, that's not going to end well for you. No, honestly. I turned on the TV and I stumbled across it. And immediately, I said I should let Zoe know about it. That sounds unlikely. Why? It's Christmas. The only time of the year we have a truce and we're nice to each other. All right. I'll try to say it in a way that you may understand. You better watch out. You better not laugh. I'm telling you why. Fine. Don't believe me. Your loss. He seemed convincing. Could it be because he was genuine? Hmm. Most of the time he is. I bet he was trying to trick me. But what if he wasn't? I'll miss my favorite band. I can't live with that. I hate being in a quandary. That's all his fault. Cisco! Yikes! Oops, I think I struck a nerve. I better avoid talking to her for a while. Besides, it's Christmas. She will have forgiven me by tomorrow. Honestly, I can't understand what she likes about this band. They just make noise. Hell yeah! I don't want to annoy her. Father, a Discworld novel by Terry Pratchett. No need, I have already read it. She doesn't like anybody messing with her stuff. I still regret the last time I touched it. That's strange, it's glowing. Could it be a clue? Okay, I better get out of her room. She might be here any minute now. A poster of Zoe's favorite band, the Guilties. It features a strange symbol, a triangle with a line. For some reason, it reminds me of a Christmas tree. That's my hideout, literally. That's my hideout, literally. 
Isn't that cool? That's not my teddy bear. I need to find my own. Besides, the fur and fabric on that one are so worn, it will probably fall apart as soon as I touch it. Thank you. 